I watch a lot of YouTube videos and it's rare. I'll think some are funny, but it's rare that I laugh out loud at them. And your trip to Thailand is one of the funniest videos I've ever seen on YouTube. So give Brandon a sub. I want to go through that whole thing. Like you know, <laughs> in the first couple minutes of the video, you kick off with like, and so of course I have to stay in my room for 10 days in Thailand. I could never escape through the window. Yeah, the <laughs> quarantine. I've heard tales of an American. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, just, how did that idea happen? How did it come to your mind? Like, wh- how did that all? It's unfold? a ten-day COVID quarantine, just so everybody knows that yeah. they, they put him in when he lands in Thailand. Yeah, well, it's you know, uh, it's all speculative that I broke out, but um, I, <laughs> you know, I get there and I, I don't know what to expect, but uh, as soon as I get to Thailand, I'm looking at like. I hear so much about the sex tourism thing. So I'm looking at how do I get an escort? Do, 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 do. So mm-hmm. you can just order them right to your house. Masseuses, escorts, whatever you want. So as soon as I got to my hotel, uh, I kind of ordered ordered a woman of the night to rub my feet and whatnot. And it, it evolved from there. Once how I found that. escorts it, dumped you before you got to the deed? It seemed like that was a, a recurring issue. Oh, uh, what? Us ordering escorts and freaking them out? And then they left? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that only happened once. That was only once. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there was the one that walked in and found three guys and left. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the one you're thinking of. Yeah. There was yeah. the one on the street who said there was too much buffoonery and she pieced out. Oh, yeah, the big breasted one. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a shame because you had taken if I understand this right, penis enlarging pills you got from a random vendor on the streets of Thailand. Yeah, Big Penis. That's a great, <laughs> great problem. No, wait, wait, wait. Was that his name or was that the name of the pills? That's the name of the pills. I wish the guy's name was Big Penis, but no. It was, it was a pill called Big Penis and it caught my attention, uh, obviously. Well, yeah, so I got, to, I, I got to Thailand and, you know, the whole, the whole quarantine thing, whatever, whatever. Uh, I didn't know how long I could go to jail, but I heard if you broke out of quarantine, you could go to jail. Mm-hmm. But I just figured, you know, they were never going to catch me. I blend right in in Thailand. I <laughs> stimulate the culture. <laughs> but no, there's this place called Nana Plaza, and it's it's advertised as the biggest adult playground on earth. It's pretty wow. much this street that has uh, a bunch of massage parlors. Nana Plaza itself is like this four story brothel, apparently. Um, and yeah, you walk down the street, girls are grabbing your arm, grabbing your dick, being like, oh, sexy, you so handsome. And it's just a place where you can fuck uh, as many girls as you want, pretty much. Nice. Safe. Cheap. So yeah. yeah, let's talk about cheap, though, because I, I think you saw a thing where uh, <laughs> like thirty five thousand American dollars is a million uh, Thai monies, whatever yeah. the fuck they use. Bot. currency. Bot. And yeah. uh, so, so you quickly realized that you were a Thai millionaire. <laughs> yeah, the bot millionaire, baby. Had those stacks. No, I mean, when you go, you go, you go to Thailand. You realize that the expectation for a big dick is not there because the average penis of Thai guys is, you know, smaller than other guys. Yeah. And you realize that your money goes a really long way. So your dick is big. You're richer than you've ever been. You're probably tall. Everybody's yeah. probably shorter over there. You feel like a mountain. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Just a nice confidence boost in in Thailand. No, I'm not here to fuck. I'm just here to mog small people, small malnourished people <laughs> yeah, in and their little it's, shops. It's, it's oh, the shit. best of all of the worlds if you're if you're a tourist, right? Because like I've got a friend who's in Japan. He's stationed there in the, with the military, mm-hmm. and, and he's like, dude, I'm a I'm a good looking American guy who's taller than five foot eight with tattoos and muscles. These Japanese girls think I'm fucking Yakuza mixed with George Clooney or something yeah, like that. Exotic. Like so I can't Im- I can imagine when you take that and multiply it by poor, by poverty, then the pussy really rolls in if you can find some poverty pussy. Yeah. Well, I think in Thailand the average income for the citizens there is like three to five hundred dollars a month or something like that. Something really yeah, low. So close. Yeah. And they need lo- that money. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know, shit, you could you could get a hundred dollars to have sex with a guy, or you could work selling, you know, uh, little chicken chicken wings and stuff for fifteen dollars a day. Yeah, that's true. How I many assume. chicken wing? <laughs> what's the, what's the chicken, chicken wing to cock ratio? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. More, more At some point, KFC. Let's go. I don't know, but uh, it gets cheap. So the website I was using was called smoochie.com. People thought I was sponsored, but no, nah, you know, I just I give, <laughs> give props where it's due. And for like uh, uh, under $100, you could order a girl to your house to have sex with. Is it like a, I'm sure it's like a 100% understood prostitute thing. It's not like anyone would show up at your house and be like, but I'm a sports masseuse. What are you talking about? Like, no, it's, it's I, I tried to get like massages to come to masseuses to come to my house just to give me a plain massage. And they're trying to jerk your dick and stuff. 
know, were they good but, at massages or were they they put all their eggs in the fucking hand job basket? No, they were very good. You can tell when you go to one of those like shitty ones in America where they like gently rub your back and like are caressing your fucking ass and waiting to flip you over. No, the, in Thailand, they're, they're, you know, they're really doing a good they're job. They're professionals. They're ready yeah. to flip you like a pancake, get onto the yeah. next guy. Professional masseuses. That, uh, so there's a street called Soy 7 1, I think it's called. It's like Blowjob Street. I'm going to shout out my favorite bar, Wood Bar. <laughs> Wood there. bar on Blowjob Street. Check it out. You go there, it's like seventeen dollars, and you get like the most immaculate blowjob of your life. And they love it. You know, they love it. How many? Well, how many of those did like you take? <laughs> how many of those did you take advantage of on Blowbard Blowjob Boulevard? Ah, uh, you know, it's all speculative. It's neither here nor there. <laughs> One, two, zero. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? That guy that's not you that you went with? How many did did he? Oh, uh, Zilla, Zilla Kami. No, I was yeah. making up a guy. No, so you no, he's you a weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steve, no, I didn't do anything. It's all, it's all, it's all CGI. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, the hypothetically, the girls on Blowjob Alley, are they way more talented than, like, the girls you find on Tinder? Yeah, they're very experienced. You know, they want you out of they want to get you out of there so they can suck the next dick. So they're they're really giving their best effort. There's like a sink where you can like drape your balls over and they'll clean your that's your dick wonderful. And your it's balls like the, your ass if you yeah, want this is an go. amateur, this is the NBA. Well, it's just amazing, you know. You could get on <laughs> Tinder, try to wine and dine a girl, convince her you like her, this and that, or you could go to blowjob bar, get it done with, and seventeen dollars just like that. One, one love- of my favorite things that you did was was, was when you would <laughs> pretend to head kick the prostitute <laughs> and then pull your foot back and you can see them being like what the fuck is going on here? why is he like going like into my face <laughs> like not no, it's, it's, it's a part of the culture so you know it's like i'm breaking the language barrier because some of them couldn't speak english so you throw a few strikes you pull at the last second and you're like oh he's he's an ally <laughs> right at, at, at didn't your guy's point, dad used yeah. to do that when you were younger come and just like act like he's gonna beat the fuck out of you and then he doesn't so you're really thankful yeah yeah, yeah everybody's yeah, dad yeah. did that yeah. <laughs> of they didn't pull <laughs> just laid you out but my one of my favorite parts of that video was you and your buddy or he might have just been freestyling in the back of a car, Zilla, just yeah. o- overtly making fun of the the Thai driver, being like, "I bet <laughs> this guy fucks men. I bet he sucks dick. I bet he's gay." And <laughs> it's just it's just ultimate trolling. It's great. I, I love your videos. It's a fun adventure video. Yeah. No, and I, I've actually been MIA from the internet for uh, over a month now because I got a terrible eye infection when I was out in Thailand. Thought I was going blind, and uh, actually, uh, is that why you were? I noticed it was from February. Yeah, well, I posted every week for like 81 weeks in a row without missing a week and then went to Thailand, missed two weeks and then posted that last video and I've been MIA for a month. I literally couldn't see for like three weeks. I was like, thought I was going blind. Mm. What was the STD fear? The the STD fear? Yeah, because I would like, I imagine that there's a lot of that floating around. Like that would be pretty scary, right? I mean, I guess. I mean, I mean, it, yeah it's scary I, I i was certain i had something uh curable but i thought for sure i had something and i got a full panel std test i'm clean boy wow. i'm good but they tested for chlamydia in your eye well i didn't get my eyes tested for chlamydia i don't know how they do that but i got my blood tested and everything and i don't it's have a single a, std yeah the, you know the regular test would have caught the eye chlamydia if I mean, I, I'm not saying that high chlamydia doesn't exist. I just think it's the skeeziest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, well, it hasn't like had getting, a couple run ins with like, chlamydia. It'd be like getting crabs in your mustache or something. It's so, <laughs> it's so nasty, you just don't tell people. Well, You're yeah, being very gross. judgy, Kyle. No, I, I didn't <laughs> this have show is pro so. eye chlamydia, just to be clear. Don't don't pay attention to Kyle. I got the clap in my peepers. <laughs> I'm a good Christian boy. I've never had an STD. I'm I'm very clean and uh, and and sweet. But no, you you have sex with a prostitute for, for you met on the street in Patia, and you wake up and your eyes are all infected. It's like. <laughs> Did she give me this? You know what I mean. Well, what did you did you do anything in the proximity of your eyes? You no, weren't I, like everyone's like, oh, you prostitute. No, you don't buy a girl to go down on them. I mean, yeah, of course. Unless not. that gets you know, it seems I don't like know. risky business. No, I got it from the Muay Thai gym because you know I didn't have any chlamydia or anything. So yeah, that was oh. my thought as well. Like. <laughs>